Um, hello everyone, I'm doing my video on Ana Nieto Gomez, a Chicana activist. Um, Ana Nieto Gomez was born on the west side of, excuse me, San Bernardino, California on March 30th, 1946. She was the eldest of three. Nieto was a third generation Chicana on the maternal side of her family. Um, from an early age, Nieto Gomez was very aware of the discrimination both of racism and sexism that existed not only in her segregated community, but also um, from discrimination that stemmed from her own family. It was these early insights and environments that would propel Nieto Gomez into a powerful journey of activism and revolutionary scholarly work. In 1967, Nieto Gomez began attending Cal State University at Long Beach, where she began to formalize her activism through the Mexican American Students' Rights Movement founding Hijas de Cuauhtemo in 1971, which was a feminist-centered Chicana newspaper. Nieto Gomez and the women's group, also named Hijas de Cuauhtemo, took their name from a Mexican feminist organization that worked against the Porfirio Diaz, which was a dictatorship in Mexico. It is important to note that within her organization of Mecca, she did face a lot of sexism from her male peers who did not approve of her or supported her in her running for student movements or student councils, um, etc. So she faced a lot of discrimination being a minority um, within her educational career and as well as sexism. When she would solicit help from her professors, many turned her back on her and many would even ignore her. Many times she was even harassed and threatened within the school environment. Um, later, Nieto Gomez would serve at California State University Northridge in the Department of Chicano Studies where she challenged sexism directly through the Chicano study classes that she taught. While at Cal State Northridge, um, Nieto Gomez created the curriculum for Chicana studies, courses on topics of family, um, global identity, history, as well as contemporary issues. In the spring of 1973, the Hijas of Cuauhtemo developed into what is known as Encuentro Femenil, which is considered the first um, Chicana scholarly journal. Encuentro Femenil published poetry and articles based on issues affecting the Chicana community. Um, Nieto Gomez was denied tenure at California State University, Northridge in 1976 due to what was considered her political stance. After a lengthy battle to appeal the tenure decision, Nieto Gomez resigned on September 3, 1976. Nieto Gomez's tenure battle and professionship in general demonstrated not only the powerful dynamics and pitfalls in the white male dominant institutions, but also within the Chicano movement of the time. This uproar brought awareness to racism, sexism, and academic elitism. Um, today, she continues to research sexuality, reproductive rights, worker rights, welfare rights, and higher education. So um, I found her work very inspiring because her activism and scholarly work still relates to a lot of ongoing social justice movements that we are facing in present day. And I could relate to her and her struggles because in many Hispanic heritages, there still is a lot of machismo and sexism that exists within our own families. And that's always very hard to break or to come across to our families or let alone try and educate them on that. So um, I for once have experienced that, Not thankfully not with my immediate family, but with my own family members and 
that has always um, been a goal of mine to kind of break. So reading this article and reading previous articles from this class based on Chicano struggles, it pushes me to break that um, those social norms that are embedded within our society. And I also loved how she single-handedly came up with a curriculum and how she, with her like, with her education and her skills and her diligence, she in a way threatened, um, she in a way threatened the the university and threatened educational institutions and. I thought that was very brave of her and she also brought a lot of awareness regarding um, racism and sexism and again that is something that is um, ongoing today and definitely has been banished within the centuries and decades but I really found her work um, inspiring and I hope you guys all found this video um, enjoyable and at the same time educational so thank you